hate it here. But I'm so tired now. And after all that, I don't care anymore. A lot of shadows in here. I'll stick around, I'll be watching over you. Would you mind using the chair next to my bed? I want you close to me tonight. Of course. Good night, Dragonborn. Okay, nothing's happening. Shh, he's waking up. <laughs> hey there, sleepyhead. It's a beautiful day. Oh, good morning, Rigmore. Did you sleep well? Uh, you fell asleep. Therese and I decided on this dress. What do you think? It's very good. I was thinking of wearing it at the palace. Might as well look the part. It could be the last chance I get. And if anything happens, I want to go out in style. <laughs> you won't be going in. Oh, my sweet dragonborn. You know, all these years since I last saw you, and coming to know the secret about my past, at times I can't help but feel so... helpless. I wonder sometimes, why can't I just be normal? Uh... Then why must I endure this huge weight thrust upon me? It leaves me feeling almost violated. It's like a curse. And every time I try to run away and hide from it, it always comes to find me. Every single time. Oh, you told me once you can't escape your past. Freathoth once told me about a little girl born in the wrong time into a world of hurt. Another poor bastard caught up in a sewer rat infested royal cesspit not of her making. And now, at this moment, I know how scared she was feeling. How completely helpless. Alone. You're not alone. Her name was Kintyra. She didn't make it. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna make it. You really don't have any idea, do you? And you didn't listen to a word I said. Wait for me outside the door. I need to change and... Pack a few things. I'll be out in a while. Wait for Rigma downstairs.
Come on, follow me. <laughs> changed into the armor. Changed to hair. It's such a beautiful day, Dragonborn. I thought I would show you around a little. What the hell was that? I want to go visit an old place I used to play, like I promised, just for old time's sake before we head for the Imperial City. What's up? Uh... How about we change your hair? Okay, let me know when you're ready to move out. Okay, good. Follow me. <sighs> On horse. Okay. Come on, chop chop, because I want to ride Ren.
It's not too much further. You'll like it here. We're on the Orange Road. This road takes you all the way to Coral. Coral is amazing. I'll take you there one day. Maybe. Let's leave the horses here. See this tree? This is my tree. I would climb up and just sit in the branches gazing out over the great forest below. Uh. <laughs> Come on, Dragonborn. Where's your sense of adventure? Climb the tree. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Dragonborn, you slow post. Over here, Dragonborn! That's the Imperial City. Quite impressive, huh? That's it over there, you know. The Great Forest, the one I told you about that time on the way to Riften. It stretches all the way to the mountains on the border with Hammerfell. Sit on log. Okay, what's up? I've been meaning to come back here, but never got around to it. I guess now is as good a time as any, just in case. For all time's sake. I might not get another chance now. Take as much time as you need. You know, I took it for granted when I returned home, all these places would be there for me to rediscover, like... Whenever. No more running. No more hiding. But after everything, there's still no place for me to actually feel safe and... and belong. Seems like the crap just keeps following me everywhere I go, right? <laughs> but here... that little girl is still playing amongst the trees. No one can touch me here. You could, um, run off to Skyrim and put on a disguise and they wouldn't find you. Anything else? Sure. Let's go. Okay. I don't want to fall off the tree and die. Come on, Dragonborn. This way. Okay. Navigated the tree safely. We mustn't go too deep. There are still wolves who live in the forest. But they mostly come out at night. 
When we were kids, we would come here to get out of the cold of the mountain. There should be a stream. Listen, can you hear it? Over there, come on. Oh my, it's just as I remember it. Hey, why don't you relax a while? I just want to spend a few moments. the flowers, Dragonborn? No, silly me. I forgot. How could you? You're a mighty warrior. Just kidding. I should bring my stuff down here. Do some paintings. So I don't have to take the flowers home. It's kind of sad when they all go, you know... Droopy droop droop. Hey, did you hear that? Was that a deer? Yeah, I think it was. I think it's gone now. Did you know there used to be minotaurs around here? In these woods? How cool is that, Dragonborn? They're all gone now. Poor Minotaurs. Hey! A frog! Here, froggy! Froggy, froggy. Oh! It plopped off. Oh my days, Dragonborn! Come on! Quick! Come on! Sit over here! Next to me! Okay. This place is pretty cool. I know. It's our den. Den? You know, hidey hole. If we're quiet, no one will ever find us. <laughs> we can stay here. Live out here in the forest. <laughs> forever. Yeah. Just us against the world. We don't need them. You must be quiet and very, very still. We're safe now. No one will ever find us here. Thank you, Dragonborn. I'm here for you. I know. Shall we go? We shall. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is something to worry about. <laughs> She's gonna destroy the den.
Dragonborn, promise me if anything happens to me, if I don't make it, kill every single fucking one of them. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> 